Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to another video. This time we're gonna do a QA. and a We're gonna do q and with Sally here and I ask you guys to ask us some questions both to me and Sally, both fragrance related and non-fragrance related. So I'm just gonna jump in here in the community tab and see what you guys want to know. When meeting or dating a guy for the first time, how much effect does wearing a fragrance actually have on how much you like him? compared to humor, personality, etc. It does, it, it does. It leaves a, a very a very good impression when you wear a good perfume. Yeah. It's it's very important on the first date. Like, if you wanna... Of course you're gonna look great, you try to look great and mm. show the best version of yourself. Mm. So why not to wear a very good fragrance and leave that impression and complete yeah. the look? And yeah, so, yeah, it's, so it's, it matters. It it, it, it matters a lot. Yeah. 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 It's proven that it it leaves. Uh, yeah. Of course, you want to uh, smell fresh. Impression. Yeah. A very good impression when mm. you smell good. So that was the first one. We move on to the second. For you and the woman, <laughs> is alternate al alternating regularly between several perfumes a good thing or a bad thing, in your opinion? Does that make you sound like someone who doesn't really know what he or she wants and what's the limit not to be exceeded? Is it a bad thing if you have a lot of fragrances in your rotation? Does that make you um, seem to be a person who doesn't know what he wants or she wants? Do you know what I mean? Yeah, I don't think it's, so, but... It's a good question. Like, yeah. you know, uh, when you have like one special perfume, it makes you unique. Yeah. Like you smell this perfume. Oh my God, this reminds me of this person. Or yeah, yeah this person must be here around because True. I smell the perfume that he wears or she wears. Mm -hmm. But of course, like you can't wear one perfume for mm. all the time. But some perfume you can't wear in winter. Some, mm. uh, some perfumes you have to wear uh, when it's wintry, mm. very cold. There's some fragrance for date nights, for clubs, for summer, yeah, so... Do you think it's okay, of course, to have a lot of fragrances to... Uh... Not so many. No? Okay. But, yeah. What's the limit? I think that's what the question. Yeah. Do you think it's a limit? How many... Yeah, as I said, it's, it's good to feel unique. Yeah. But it's also, there's so many good fragrances that you want to have. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Yeah, so just try to match, like... It depends where, what you're gonna do, or mm. in which time, or mm. in which, what situation. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Oh, it's raining super. We found a little neat cafe here, so <laughs> we had permission to film here. So that's really lucky. Super rainy in Sweden today. Okay, guys, we move on to the next question. Favorite type of fragrance on a man? Clean, soapy, or tobacco oud type fragrance? Tobacco oud. I like more spicy and you do. strong, intense uh, fragrances. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, clean, like we all smell clean. <laughs> yeah. yeah, but you like office, that's really clean. Yeah, uh, so. yeah, it's good. like you can't you can say that I like this type only. Oh. Oh. Some fragrances are really special. You say, yeah, I don't like the, the clean smell or the spicy smell, but you smell one perfume and you're like, whoa. Yeah, it's true. This really changed it's your true. mind. Different on different people as well. Yeah, exactly. Yes. Type of person who wears it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. And for Mr. Fragrance, how are you doing? <laughs> I guess that's me. I'm doing great. Hope you're doing fine as well. Okay, so the next question from Stiffmeister. Do girls like it when guys wear fragrance on the gym or do they prefer sweaty smelling guys like some guys claim? Mm. Yeah, I don't think like you should smell clean. Even though you're training, you're sweaty, you should smell clean. Yeah. You, if you think that if you don't like how you sweat or, or the smell that you, you get when you train and you work out or something, so just use day or mm. yeah, yeah something to feel fresh up and make fresh you, up. yeah. We move on to Yannick. I'm a teenager and I would like to know if sweet fragrances like Jean Paul Gaultier or Fresh fits better based on my age. I also would like to give some names or make a video about teenage fragrances. I also already made a fragrance video about teenage fragrance, so you can watch that a couple of weeks back. Uh, and regarding the fragrance question, if I think you should uh, only wear sweet fragrances, I think it's only, only up to you. What do you like? If you don't like sweet fragrances, even though you're a younger guy, 
uh, you shouldn't wear them. There's no thing that says you have to do sweet fragrances or have to wear them just because you're a teenager. You can wear something like Versace Dylan Blue, who is pretty youthful but more fresh and clean. So I think it's totally up to you what you like. And for the lady, uh, do you like guys who have strong eye contact? Now we move into the dating questions, I think. <laughs> Uh, yes. You like that? Yes. Mm -hmm. Not so that you... It Stare gets you very, down. <laughs> yeah, it gets very embarrassing, but yeah, some eye contact doesn't hurt. <laughs> no? Is it like uh, when he approached you on a club or yeah. you like to have eye contact before eye contact? Uh, what would you say? You like to have uh, eye contact before the guy approach you or how do you feel? Uh, yeah, exactly. Like, but... Wait a minute, you have to stop when you don't feel the, <laughs> the feeling is much, is much old. True, true. <laughs> so if she tries to ignore you and yeah, move on, just move on. <laughs> yeah, but otherwise it's good. Otherwise it's very good, yeah. Okay, now we have uh, Marcus McAllen to Sally. Do girls really like bad boys and if so, why? I answered this question before actually. Yeah, yeah I said that. Maybe we do, yeah. Because uh, it's not like we are insecure or something, but we want to feel safe. We mm -hmm. want to feel that, yeah, that we have a strong man that's ready to do everything. That mm. we, even though we, we can and we we can do everything by ourselves, we are strong women. women. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly, yeah. we are. Yeah. But we also need to feel this, like for. As I said before, ride or die. Ride or die, yeah. yeah. And uh, I think guys, just to don't uh, get some confused, I think what a lot of girls want when they say a bad guy, it's someone who stands up for her and can put the foot down, you know, and have core values. I don't say that you have to like be criminal and do some no. crazy shit. I don't think no. that's what Sally means no. uh, at all. But just have core values, stand up for your girl, uh, know what you want and don't be a pushover. I think that's important. He, he has to be w very wise and yeah. think and yeah. not just do stuff without thinking and mm. he has to be like a real man. A real man, yeah. yeah. You can sweep you off your feet. <laughs> Chris Aguirre, I think it's pronounced. What's the perfect amount of sprays for a fragrance? I think it depends on the fragrance, right? Yes. There, there are many very intense fragrances that if you put so much, it's really annoying and yeah. it's, it's, it makes the situation very uncomfortable. Yeah, I think if in general, if you have a fresh fragrance, you can apply a little bit more because it mm. doesn't last that much. Uh, or that long if you compare it to a sweet or, or a oud fragrance. Yeah. So that's okay. one thing to keep in mind. Uh, you have to try it before and see how much it projects. Yeah. Hamsa Bulat wonders to you Sally then. Uh, does she like natural long curled eyelashes on a guy? Is it feminine to have such eyelashes or is it attractive? It's very attractive. Eyelashes yeah. are attractive on yeah. both. Yeah, I think gender. so too. Yeah. yeah. I think if, for, if you're a guy, you can, can't do anything about it though. If you have good eyelashes, that's yeah. a plus. And if you haven't, it's just... And most guy ha guys have uh, yeah. more lo longer eyelashes than girls. Yeah, yeah. They, and they more do? beautiful, yeah. Yeah, okay. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't get that gene. So, <laughs> but uh, great if you have uh, long eyelashes, of course, as well as... Um, it's beautiful. Yeah. What is their favorite date fragrance during colder weather? Yeah, my favorite is uh, Dolce Gabbana, the one. Oh my god. How about you? Do you have a specific date fragrance? No, uh, not really. Like, I like uh, Dior, Savage. Yeah, Savage? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's nice. That's fresh, clean. Savage. Sav yeah, Savage it's called. Savage, but yeah. yeah. Mm. Uh, I like it. It's, it's very good. Mm, for a date. For a date, yeah. Yeah, oh, that's universal, very nice. Yeah. Mie Goreng, which versatile men's fragrances would you give for a man of 20 years old, 30 years old and 40 years old? All around fragrance, like a 20 year old, I think Versace Eros is a good alternative. A lot of younger girls love that fragrance, it's a safe bet. Uh, it's very playful, sweet, sexy. Mm -hmm. Sally love it as well, so yeah. if you want to impress <laughs> Sally, wear that. <laughs> Uh, then for a third-year-old, I think a good all-around fragrance could be uh, 
Versace Dylan Blue. It's pretty inexpensive. It's fresh, clean, a little bit more masculine fragrance. And for a four-year-old man, I would suggest you to wear Aqua di Gio Profumo, I think. What would you choose between Eros and Armani Code Absolute? I'm 20 years old. I would choose Eros. We move on to uh, Joel Landen, I think it's a Swedish guy. Uh, I think this is to Sally. How do you want the guy to approach you? A guy that you don't know, I mean. Online or just walk up to you in real life? What do you prefer? Real life. Real life? Yeah. Yeah. That eye contact, uh, the smell. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, every, everything, how he talks, how it's mm. it's different. Like when you write to someone on social media, they don't know who you are. They see you, yeah. and then the next day they write to you on Instagram or something. Like I saw you yesterday, really? but I couldn't come to you. That's Why? A little creepy. Yeah. Right. yeah. Why? In yeah. real life, I didn't. I don't know who you are. Yeah. Maybe you saw me. Maybe I will like you if you come to me. Yeah. Maybe I won't be interested, or I won't even answer you if you wrote me. No. Christian Popto, how should a strong, muscular, alpha attitude status man smell like? Muscular and spicy. Sp spicy. Attractive. <laughs> spicy and attractive. Yeah. How is that? Maybe. Oh. No, you said how he how he should smell like. How should a strong man, like muscular, strong alpha attitude and status, smell like? He is asking. Yeah, He's, he should smell like as he is, masculine, spicy, maybe old or something. Okay. Yeah. So a spicy fragrance. Yeah, it should uh, uh -huh. match how he looks. What so, do you think? I think uh, he should smell um, maybe some oud. Yeah. Some wood. As I, yeah, as I said. Um, really oody fragrance. If it's a muscular alpha male guy, mm. like tobacco oud from Tom Ford, really unapologetic fragrance that um, just smells a lot. Yeah. Why do girls like bad boys more than good guys? Or is it a myth? Have you ever been in? Yeah, okay. He should. He should be good on the inside, but he should be tough too. Yeah. What What do you not mean by tough? So I think they wonder. What do you mean by so tough? Not so feminine. That's scared of everything. And do you mean like scared of talk to you or scared of fighting or what? Do you mean? Not fighting, but yeah, step yeah, up. Yeah, step uh, up. Yeah. yeah. How should he step up? <laughs> I think he, he wants to know. So I'm just like milking the question uh, now. In what way should he step up? The perfect. How do you see a guy who is masculine and strong? If you need any help, if you are in trouble. He should be there for you and mm. help you. And yeah. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. And think. And as I said, he has to be wise and think and find some way to help you. He should be tough and defend you in front of everyone. Yeah. Uh, mm. The white knight on the horse. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Why not? They're gonna save Sally up in the the tower there. <laughs> long hair. No, but uh, <laughs> I, I know what you're saying. <laughs> I'm just. Uh, <laughs> but uh, okay, so he's gonna stand up for you. Exactly. Yeah. Yes. I think there's a last question of today from uh, Chuck E. A. Chuck E. Um, we know if she doesn't find you attractive in the first place, fragrance won't help you. I would like to know if wearing a fragrance might catch her attention and make her take notice of someone that she might overlook otherwise for whatever reason. Uh, does wearing a fragrance make women want to approach you instead of you going to them? I think that's two part question. Yeah. The first is if you like pay attention to a guy that you wouldn't pay attention to otherwise if he wears a good fragrance, do you know what I mean? Well, the fragrance catch you at the first if you don't know the guy or... If you see a guy like yeah. a five in your scale and he wears a good fragrance, can you be like, oh, but he smells good, he could be more approachable or it doesn't matter. Maybe, yeah. Yeah, maybe. Maybe. Yeah. Yeah. I, I think for me it's very important how he smells. It means that he takes care of himself yeah, and he true. cares and he's clean. It, it, it explains a lot. And it, doesn't mean that he only wear a good perfume. Mm. It explains a lot. Yeah. So maybe he has a good personality. Yeah. But the first impression or that the thing that catch you the first is maybe the perfume, even mm. if you don't like the guy. Mm. But oh my God, look at that guy. It's, he smells very good. Yeah. And then 
things happen. <laughs> Could you approach a guy um, just because he smells good, or wouldn't you? Anyways, like, could you go up? <laughs> could you go up to him and say you smell really good, or no? I might ask for the perfume. Yeah. But okay. Not, yeah. not more than that. Not like. Mm, I no. Smell so no. Good. <laughs> no. <laughs> well, I think that's uh, that's it for uh, this Q and A. Thanks for watching and uh, if you think this was uh, fun and interesting and want to see more of these type of videos in the future, please let me know in the comment section and I'll see you the next time. Bye bye. bye, -bye.